Just a quick uh, thank you I've uh, thought of is uh, David John Morris who was uh, uh, with us on the day as a neighbour and uh, an HEV driver so we drove the van home. So thank you very much to that, for that and thanks very much to uh, the local Warrington Hospital and all the doctors and nurses I've been back and to for numerous appointments there for the sh shoulder and uh, ribs and uh, lung etc. So that's all I've uh, done dusted now. Just got a few bureaucrats to deal with. Um, so quick look round the jet now for those people that uh, may be new uh, to my uh, channel uh, and also new to my Facebook page that I haven't seen around the jet so I'll do a quick flirt around it with the camera. Um, there is other video of it on the YouTube channel but I'll just bring it up to date and then that, that's it I think. Another quick look at this badly damaged sprint and drag race bike. All that aluminium work. I made the fairing and the tank and the rear handling. All to be repaired. Handle bars were smashed off. That's for some temporary tubes in there to get it out of the van. Maybe wondering what the two face name is. I'll explain that in a bit. That's the uh, last item I made earlier in the year. That jet pipe, exhaust pipe, stainless steel. That's about a TIG welder. I learned how to TIG weld to do that. It's too thin for arc welding. Or a jump parked on the top of it at the moment that I can't move. That's what the sheeting's for. And to keep condensation dripping on. So uh, I got that finished about March and then I went into the hospital to have my uh, right hip replaced due to arthritis in the hip. So let's move on a bit. The chassis is all my own construction. Some of it was done some years ago when it was a basically a two-wheeler or going to be until I got the jet engine in 1997 had that stored for a while thought I better get round to using it before I get too old it's a Rolls-Royce Viper engine out of a jet provost I've got to make my own uh, starter system I've got the original motor but I haven't got all the aircraft gearbox that drives it into the front of the engine on this particular model so I had to fabricate all that. I need to get it finished before I run out of time, before I run out of years. I had a good run up to age 57. I think I only went to the doctors once in all those years. And had a heart attack. Recovered from that very well, then 12 years later ended up with cancer. And I'm in remission from that. And as I say, I had a new hip fitted in April. And uh, it was fine after that. Then I crashed my race bike in August. So, I've been in and out of hospital most of the year. So I must also say a big thank you to Warrington Hospital and the local uh, Culture Medical Centre as well for the treatments I've had with them. Now that there is the front nose section which fits on the front over the front wheel it's lifted off at the moment so I could get inside to work in the cockpit area have a look at the front part of the engine I've got the inlets air inlets ducting yet to do on the sides 
I've continued racing throughout my uh, years of ill health. When I had the heart attack, I recovered and went back racing. Same with the cancer. Now let's have a look at the original Two Faced. I built this myself in 1968. I had an aluminium frame originally, which cracked twice, so I replaced it with a steel one. I didn't do any welding in those days, I was only just learning. My brother in law brazed it, or bronze welding, whatever you like to call it. Since then, I've learned to do all my own aluminium work and all my own welding work. This was amongst the top few in 1968. Set a course record at RAF Topcliffe, which took four years before it was broken. It's called Two Face because it's got two Triumph engines in, which are coupled together. The Norton gearbox, which was stronger than the Triumph one. But because it ran on nitromethane fuel and methanol and a few other choice chemicals thrown in, it occasionally blew engines up. So that's why I called it Two Faced. So that refers to the machines, not me. So I need to get uh, some work done on this, but I've promised a friend I would make him two petrol tanks. So I've got those to do. And uh, the boss of uh, one of the race clubs, Mr. Duckworth, wants me to do some work on uh, one of his machines and fit some aluminium bodywork. So I've got a couple more uh, appointments at the hospital with a couple of other issues that have cropped up lately. I hope they're not going to be serious. So I've got to get on with things. So I'll keep you all posted. Thanks once again to everybody that has helped me. Couldn't be here without you. Cheers for now.